Hey there everyone, Laser Dave here again from Trotec Laser. I have another laser hack to show you. This laser hack will walk through the process of producing highly complex and detailed inlays with a laser system using a reverse engraving process with veneer woods. To start, I will show the traditional process of inlay as a baseline using maple wood and dark walnut wood veneer. A vector file format is required. I will use this lion design in this example. The image will be black filled with a red cut outline. To start the traditional laser inlay process, first engrave the black and cut the red line of this file into the maple wood. Then wipe the surface with a damp cloth and remove it from the laser system and set it aside. To cut the veneer, convert the black engraved file to a cut line by removing the fill and adding a red outline. Then send that cut line to the laser, using it to cut the thin walnut wood veneer. After it is cut out, remove it from the laser. Once completed, the veneer needs to be glued into the engraving by filling the engraving with wood glue, then placing the laser cut veneer into the engraving then either clamping or in this case rolling so that the veneer is tightly seated into the engraving pocket. Once the glue is dry, the surface is ready to be sanded smooth. Sand the surface until it is perfectly smooth and flush. Then clear coat the sanded part for the final inlay result. This process works very well and is one of the most efficient methods of doing wood inlay on the planet. But what if far more detail is required? This laser hack will show the process to inlay highly detailed design files like this Aztec calendar by reverse engraving the veneer wood. For this process to work, the design does not need to be a vector, but it does need to be black and white. To start, take the design and duplicate it in your design software. In this example, I am using CorelDRAW. Then mirror the design, and then invert the copied design, turning the white to black and the black to white. Apply a vector line as a cut path. This will need to be a vector and then save the design file. Now for the engraving. This part will be the same as the traditional process. First place the wood into the laser and focus. Then open the original design file into the Ruby software and create a job. Position the design onto the wood snapping to the red dot pointer or using the overhead camera. Select the maple wood setting and push the design file to the laser. Select start and engrave the design. The material parameters may need to be adjusted so that the engraving depth matches the thickness of the veneer. Advanced testing is recommended to be sure the laser settings are correct before starting a project. Once the engraving is complete, wipe the wood with a damp cloth and remove it from the laser and set it aside. To laser process the veneer wood, a high-tack application tape is necessary for this process to work. Take the thin veneer wood and apply at least three layers of high-tack application tape to one side of the veneer, squeegeeing out all air in the tape between each layer. Then trim any excess tape. Place the veneer onto the vector cutting grid with the tape side down and mask off all excess parts of the cutting table to create a tight, hold down vacuum of the veneer and then focus onto the veneer's surface. Now import the mirrored and inverted graphic file into Ruby and place that file over the veneer wood in the laser. In this case, I have completed some advanced testing and created a custom veneer wood parameter setting. Select that setting and push it to the laser. The parameter setting should be dialed in to engrave through the veneer but not through the application tape on the back side of the veneer. Pre-testing is necessary to find this setting. In this example, I am using a Speedy 400 with 120 watts of laser power at 100% power, 77% speed, 1000 Hz and 1000 dpi. If the laser parameters are correctly set up when the file engraves, 99% of the veneer should be removed so that only a whitish, sticky residue of the application tape should show on the bottom of the engraving. Once the engraving is complete, gently remove it from the laser. As you can see, the mirrored image is being held in place with the application tape. Please note that if the application tape is not sticky enough, this process will not work. It may be necessary to glue the first layer of paper or tape 
to the veneer to get a very strong bond. I now have the positive engraving on the maple wood and the inverted mirrored engraving on the application tape backed veneer wood side by side. The engraved wood must first be completely filled with wood glue for final assembly. I recommend using a brush for this process so that every detail of the engraving has adhesive in it. Once there is an even layer of glue in every engraving detail, squeegee and wipe away any excess glue. Before the glue begins to dry, place the parts together by gently aligning and setting the veneer onto the engraving and moving it a bit until you feel the pieces slide together. Once the details are married together, use a roller to press them in place. Then use another piece of material and clamp the parts down and let the glue dry. Once the glue is dry, peel off the excess application tape, removing as much of the tape as possible by hand. Then use a sander with at least 60 grit sandpaper to help remove any excess tape from the surface. Then switch to a 150 grit and then finish with a 220 grit sandpaper until the surface is completely smooth. Once it is sanded completely smooth, paint with a clear coating for the final inlaid result. A perfect inlay of an incredibly detailed Aztec calendar is now complete and outstanding. This laser hack can be used with all kinds of intricate detail. I have used this process to inlay scanned signatures onto wood, and I've even taken a photograph converting it to black and white dither patterns and inlaying that photo. This advanced laser hack will require patience and attention to detail, so I recommend starting with less complex graphics. But the results will truly set you apart if this process is done correctly. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified for future laser hacks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.